Britain's Princess Diana became a global celebrity who touched the lives of millions of people. Her untimely death shocked the world and the British nation mourned her passing. An iconic presence on the world stage, Diana, Princess of Wales, was noted for her pioneering charity work. During her lifetime, she was often referred to as the most photographed person on the planet. To her admirers, the Princess of Wales was a role model. Nearing his mid-30s, Prince Charles was under increasing pressure to marry, but any potential bride had to have an aristocratic background, could not have been previously married, should be Protestant and preferably a virgin. Diana fulfilled all these qualifications. Their wedding took place at St Paul's Cathedral in London on Wednesday, 29th of July, 1981, before three and a half thousand invited guests, plus an estimated one billion television viewers around the world. Ironically, it's been reported the Prince's former girlfriend, Camilla Parker Bowles, helped him select the 19-year-old Lady Diana Spencer as a potential bride. But by the mid-1980s, the marriage fell apart. The Prince and Princess of Wales were separated on the 9th of December 1992. Their divorce was finalised on the 28th of August 1996. The Princess lost the style Her Royal Highness and instead was to be known as Diana, Princess of Wales. In April 1987, the Princess of Wales was the first high-profile celebrity to be photographed knowingly touching a person infected with the HIV virus. Her contribution to changing the public opinion of AIDS sufferers was immense. It was this type of work that had endured her in the hearts of many. She also worked tirelessly to rid third world countries of unexploded landmines. She won acclaim for her influence on the signing by the governments of the UK and other nations of the Ottawa Treaty in December 1997, which created an international ban on the use of anti-personnel landmines. Such was the reach of Diana's iconic impact worldwide that news of her death became a milestone in personal history. Diana and her lover Dodi Al-Fayed died tragically in a car accident. Even today, much doubt surrounds her death. Dodi's father, millionaire Mohammed Al-Fayed, still claims there was a conspiracy behind the deaths. In 2004, seven years after the crash, an inquest was opened in London. New evidence was brought forward and investigations are expected to run into the year 2007. The royal coroner leading the inquest has a staggering 6,000-page report to sift through to determine what information is or isn't relevant to this inquest. Much bitterness swept through Diana's two families and it was not until July 2004 that both families would meet again. The occasion was the opening of the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain in London's Hyde Park. I have much pleasure in declaring the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain open. Even now, Princess Diana has a presence and it was fueled even further with the marriage of the Prince of Wales and Camilla Parker Bowles. Never before had public opinion been so deeply divided on a royal wedding. Division between Diana loyalists and those willing to see the prince remarry ignited arguments in the media and the public domain. Regardless, her legacy will remain with the royal family for many years to come, as her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, are second and third in line to the British throne after their father.